Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use a drop-down list to switch between a table or a chart. So let's say we had a table here and we also wanted to see the chart but we don't want to put it into another tab or have it off to the side or we'd have to kind of muck around with the sizing. We just wanted to switch between views and the way we can, this is an example of how that can be done. And we have our table here, let's say we don't want to see the table, we want to see a chart. And we click on that and the chart shows up. And this is all done dynamically. It doesn't need to be done with any macros or any programming. And I saw this example on a site called Contextures, and it was just so cool I decided to try it myself and put this video together. With this chart and the table, they basically come from this sheet. It comes from one sheet. This is the table, and this is the chart. And here's our five steps, five really short steps. Well, not really short, but five steps that we can use to create this. We're going to create the table and chart. Here's our table, here's our chart. Then we're going to give a name to the table and chart. As you can see, if I selected this table, I look up in the name box, there is a name for the table. And if I selected the cells where this chart overlays, we see that there's a name for the chart. So that is what we need to do. We need to name a table and chart. Then we need to create our drop-down list, which is this. After that, we need to create a picture link, which is this. This is actually a picture link to both of these, either, either the table or the chart. Well, currently it's going to show the chart right now. Once we create the picture link, we need to create a name, a new, another name with a formula, and that's going to update the picture link reference. So this, refer this picture link reference will point to that new name and the formula. So let's go into how we do this. Let's go ahead and select. I'm just going to copy this table over. Oh, we had some artifacts from switching around the tabs too much. But that will disappear if I click on another sheet and go back. Yeah. So let's click this table, select it, Control C to copy. Let's bring it over the, to a new worksheet here. Control V to paste. And this is going to be the table. I'm going to give it a name here. I'll just go ahead and call it Table 2 press enter. Now I also want a chart. So the a keyboard shortcut to create a chart, it creates a, the default chart that you have, is just press the Alt key and F1. And that's going to create a default chart. My default chart here is the column chart. And I'm going to put it into a range of cells where I can see it a little bit better here. So I'm going to select from H2 to N14 and I'm going to give this range a name and call it chart 2. So that was step 2. Step 3 is creating the validation. So I'm going to go and create the data validation on this other worksheet. The keyboard shortcut to create the data validation or op open up the data validation window is Alt DL. You can also go into data here and go to data validation here this way. Now I want to have a list, so that's what I'm going to select there. And for my source, I'm going to type chart. It's either going to be a chart or a list. So that drop down is going to be either show me these two options, options, either the chart or the list. Click on that, and you'll see that I have my two options here. When I create my little title here, chart or table. Did I say list the first time? I think we want chart. We don't want list. <laughs> Let me go ahead and change that. Go to Alt DL. And let's change that to table. Okay. So it's going to be either a chart or table. Let me go ahead and just format this a little bit. Give that a blue color. I like to be a little bit, give it some, some color. So after this, what we're going to do is we need to create a picture link. So I'm going to go ahead and select just any random cell and do a control C to copy and select a target cell to paste that. And I'm not going to do a regular paste. I'm going to do a picture link paste. So I go into paste here, under paste special, and let's do a linked picture. You'll notice after I pasted it, you'll notice that it actually copied that cell here. So here's the, the little, little gray lines here that show that cell. And if I click on here, you'll see that in the formula bar it's referencing A2. What we want to do here is just put another placeholder here. I'm going to just put the placeholder of chart number 2. 
and that's going to show that second chart that I created. Now also well, one thing to note is when you create a picture link so that right now it's a picture link of that chart so if, if I update something like I make that 40 let's make this 100 something really obvious you'll see so now you see this change you'll see that it's changed here so it's kind of a dynamic picture and it also copies the background so I'm gonna go ahead and go under here and remove the background and go under page layout the grid lines uncheck that view so it's now just all the grid lines are gone so now we have some we, now it's gone we just have the grid lines that are on this sheet so after we create our picture link we have to insert a, another name so that's going to be step five so step five is we need to create another name range we'll go under formulas go to name manager and click new and we're going to call this selection two so this is our second example. And here, this is where we're going to put our formula. We'll delete that. And it's going to be an if statement. So if this cell equals, we can either choose table or chart. I'm just going to use chart. Oops. And we have to put that in quotes because it's text. So that equals chart. If the selection is chart, then we're going to choose the name chart 2 because that's the one that we created in sheet 8. Now, if it's false or anything else, it's we want to select table. So there's only going to be two choices here. So we're going to select table, and that's going to be table two. And I'll go ahead and close parentheses, press enter, and click close. And you think that after we choose it, we, oops, chart not nah, table. After we made the selection, it's done. But no, it's not done. Part of the fifth step is going into this picture link and changing the reference to that new name that we just created that which is called selection 2. Press enter and now once you select that it changes change it back to chart or change it to table and just to clean it up a little bit let's get rid of the grid lines here too so it gets nice and neat and now we have our dynamic table that is toggling between a table view and a table view and a chart view just based on the drop down. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.